Hey guys, AG Heaven 515 and I'm going to show you how to make a fortune telling booth that turns into a boating booth. Okay, so you go from the carnival to school, like voting for class president and things like that, class secretary, whatever you want to do. And what you'll need is one doll box, both, both the base and the front, pieces of paper, scissors, tape. I'll go ahead and tell you what you're going to do with the paper. Make these little things like one side says fortune teller. One side says it can either say sorry, try again later or your wish is granted. Do a little bit of both things. Like a few of mine say sorry, try again later and then a few of mine say your wish is granted. It'd be kind of boring if you did all, uh, all of them your wish is granted or all of them sorry, try again later. And just be neat. <laughs> And it's free, by the way, unless you want to put it in a little coin machine thing. So what you're going to do is um, put the base up against the wall, like, or wherever you're going to put it, and stick your... Hold on. How do you stand up? Ooh. This was going to be crafts with Addie and Lainey, because they've got a little show. But it turned out because Lainey broke her arm, so she's in the hospital, and her cast is still not dry. It's still soaking wet, but it's getting there. And I promise I'm going to make a video on how to color it without using marker so it won't bleed through. So anyway, here you go. So Addie, or your doll is in the base. And act like you're about to put the lid on, but turn it around. And push it up against the base. Okay, you can barely see her face. Actually, you can't even see her face, but you can see it like that. I mean, woo. <sighs> it's not even dark, but still. Oh, yeah, you'll also need to make a button that says start. Like that. And you'll need to make a big, long sign. Center floss is adapted to it from where I made something a couple days ago. Um, make your wish. And put the make your wish right under that window thing. The plastic part where your doll's face shows. Put it right under there. And tape it on. And it's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let me set my phone down. You can't see it that well, but I'll show you it in just a second. I'll do this real quick. So it says, make your wish. It's right under it. It doesn't have to be completely fake. I know mine is. But I, I, I want you all to make it as straight as you can. Okay. Then tape on your little things. You'll need one tape, one tape, one tape, one tape. And they don't have to be, like, completely even, but make sure they're as even as you can. I know mine aren't even. Then stick your one that says start right under the make your wish on the right side or left side if you want and that's the decoration and put in that and Addie or whoever's who, whatever doll is in there will be your fortune teller and you can dress it up like a fortune teller and then your other doll will walk in she'll press the start button and She'll make a wish, and the fortune teller can say things if you want it to. Then she'll pick one of her things and say either "Sorry, try again later" or "Your wish is granted." She's saying, "I wish my cast would dry." <laughs> okay. And now we're gonna make the voting booth, or at least we're gonna start on it. Take down all the decorations. It's okay if some of the box rips, but try not to rip too too much. If it starts to rip, ask for somebody to help you. You don't need those right now. And if you don't want to make the voting booth, that's okay. You can exit out. But I hope you all liked the fortune teller idea. All of these are original ideas that I came up with myself. Nobody helped me. <laughs> like, nobody helped me. Okay, take it all out. Of the fortune teller booth. Flip. Wait, no. Yes. The way your 
it's like take the face away. Okay. And take the lid still gonna face the same way, but this time don't press it up against a wall. Leave some space or leave some space in that little window. This time Addie's I mean Laney's gonna be there. And now make sure there's enough room for a doll to slip in and talk. Hi there. Now, um, place the box, don't put it inside, but up, up against it. Take a blanket. Hold on, let me set the phone down. Yes, my phone has a camera on it. It's super cool. And I can upload video, or, yeah, upload videos straight to YouTube from it. Because I'm cool. Sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys are cool, too. You guys are super cool. Make sure it's not covering that window on the other side. And make sure it is covering this entire base. You have to... Okay, so yeah. The window is still showing. Crap, I keep forgetting. Put your doll inside of everything. So, crap. This is why whenever I say a how-to video, you really don't want to do it as I'm saying it. So they're like, wait, I messed up, and then you guys make it afterwards, and you guys can learn from our mistakes. Put her in facing that window, just like the fortune teller box. Okay. And she will be, okay, no, remember, we're putting my name here. And she will be your information girl. She'll be like, all right, come back around here and wait in line for the voting booth, blah, blah, blah. Because a door will be like, hold up, a door will be like right there if you want. And they can come in and be like, hi, uh, what are you, it's like, hi, oh hi, come around here and vote. <laughs> then you put your box up again, that's why she's covered in the back. You also need paper, scissors, and tape. And cut out little things, like a, however many dolls you have, well, n not including her. But the rest of your dolls, make one little well, not little, but make a make a square for each doll. I'm gonna do that right now. You can trace it out with a pencil, then cut. Ah, you can trace it out with a trace it out with a pencil, then cut it, or you can just go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna trace it out with a pencil because I like it to be good. Okay, and then cut them out. Wait, no. What you're gonna do next? You've got your little squares. Is write down some random people's names, like Ian Moon or something like that. I'm going to say Ian Moon. Sorry, I'm looking at something. That was on CSI. New York. Or Miami, I can't remember. I watch all the time. Ian Moon, I guess. Then put two little boxes right beside it and write a check and an X. And put something on the side. X check and two boxes under it. And you can name as many people as you want, but do the same people on each little square and then cut your squares out. Ian Moon spells I am no one if you do it right. Take out the N and it says I am no one. Sorry, no. Move the N. Wait, switch the N and the M around and it says I am no one. And Ian is a real name. But at the end of Moon, put an E. Okay. So there's your little ballot and you stick them in the little slit right there. Okay, well you'll need your box upside down for this. And here I'm gonna show you. It's falling. Stick each ballot. Don't put make sure your dolls don't put their names on it. They only put the person the people who is able to stick them in that little slit. You'll need your box upside down. Okay. So that way, whenever the doll... Oh, yeah. Then put your blanket over it to make, like, a little curtain. That way the doll can walk in and nobody can see who they're voting for. Just like a real election. 
I remember I did this in third grade. Remember, the window is not covered. I remember I did this in third grade for, um, we were saying what kind of day should we have. One person said Fat Albert Day, and I voted for that. So it was funny. And then your doll can walk in as they please. Do do do. Now undo the curtain, walk in, vote. Addie, don't tell anyone who you voted for. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope my cast gets better. We'll probably make a get well video for her in just a second. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Crafts with Addie and partly Lainey. Bye, guys.